From famous fights and feuds to memorable meltdowns, these are some of the most iconic Big Brother moments. Big Brother is back, and with the new series set to air on ITV next year, we've taken a look back through the archives to pick out 10 of the programme's most iconic moments. At number 10, Kinga and the Wine Bottle. 17 years ago, Kinga Karlzak took the headlines by storm after allegedly pleasuring herself with a wine bottle in the Big Brother garden. She's since admitted that it was all just a show, but there's no denying that at the time she caused quite the stir. Number 9. The Fake Celebrity This was perhaps one of the best secret tasks in the history of the show. Housemate Chantel was placed into the 2006 celebrity version of the show and had to convince the celebrity housemates of her fame. One twist though, she wasn't actually a celebrity. Chantel had to make the others believe she was a singer, which wasn't always easy. I'm gonna get what I deserve, much more somehow. And ironically, non-celeb Chantel went on to win that celebrity season. Number 8. Cheryl vs Julie Soap star Cheryl Ferguson and Julie Goodyear caused some serious drama back at the launch night of the 2012 series. Little did the other housemates know, but it was all an act as part of a secret task. But there is a slight bit of history and there it's There is not no even funny. history. It's not Cheryl. even funny, and I'm not having the looks that you're giving me across the room. Shut up, shut up! Now! Hey, no, no, chill, come on, man. First day, man. Leave it! They were almost too convincing. Number seven, Megan is starving. Of the many meltdowns over the years, Megan McKenna's hangry episode was perhaps one of the more relatable. After living on rations as part of a task, she hit breaking points after being fed spam and mashed potatoes. Is this task over yet? No. No, I need to eat. I need to eat food. I'm starving. I feel like I want to cry. I'm hungry! All I want to do is have a <laughs> piece of toast. I'm starving! You think that I knew I've lost it now? I'm sick of it. I've stayed up all oh, <laughs> It's not funny. It's not funny. I've knocked on the door all day about ten times. I've pressed that buzzer. You never let me in. What's the point of a diary room if you don't let me in? What's the point? It's okay, Megan. We've all been there, right? Number six, Gemma gets claustrophobic. It's no secret that Gemma Collins did not enjoy taking part in any of the tasks. Back in Series 17, the GC had had enough, explaining every reason why she didn't want to be in the famous house. I don't want to play any more games. I'm not having a job working 24-7 for two days on the trot. Don't I don't need the money. Do you think these going to pay my mortgage? I've got money. Listen, Gemma. I'm claustrophobic, Darren! Listen. They don't get it! I'm claustrophobic! She later finished in a very underrated seventh place. Number five, David's dead. When Angie Bowie learned of the tragic passing of her ex-husband David Bowie, she shared the news with housemate Tiffany Pollard. Famously, Tiffany took the news to mean that Angie was in fact describing fellow housemate David Guest, who was lay asleep in the next room. David's dead. No, it's not. <laughs> you can't. You can't. You can't do that. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! They told me that David is dead. David. She's, yes. David. David. Yes. She Will said he just me? died, and I can't f hold this in by myself. No. And she just said that David just died. What did oh. I do? You told her that David was dead with cancer. Yes, he is. He's in there asleep. Oh, David. My ex-husband. And if you look up miscommunication in the dictionary, well, that clip should come up. Number four, George Galloway's cat impression. George pretending to be Rula Lensky's cat on Big Brother was actually voted the cringiest reality TV moment of all time. The Scots politician had viewers squirming with his unforgettable purring and whisker wagging moment. Has it been a trying day with all those people coming into the house? Has it? You don't like it when lots of people come in, do you? Well, that's put me right off my tea. Number three, Alison breaks the table. Alison Hammond's attempt to make contact with the outside security guards backfired in 2002 when she snapped the picnic bench. <laughs> Let's go and tell Big Brother. 
Oh, I've done something really, really bad, right? But really, it is an accident. They're all laughing now, right? I think I've just broken the outside table by jumping on it. Alison, housemates cannot jump on the furniture. I know, I know. I, or make any attempt to communicate with the outside world. It's strictly against the Big Brother rules. I'm really sorry. And despite being the second person to be evicted from that series, it's no doubt that Alison went on to carve a huge TV career from her stint on the show. At number two, Kim Woodburn loses it. It was perhaps one of the biggest rows in the show's history. In 2018, the Queen of Clean kicked off big time, branding most of the other housemates bullies. And you're an adulterer I need, I need when you had, excuse me, and you're an adulterer the two times your wife, you're Kim, talking about Kim, decency. Kim. And Kim was temporarily removed from the Big Brother house so she could calm down. At number one, our most iconic moment is the famous diary room rant of Nikki Graham. During her series in 2006, Nikki often lost her temper for various reasons, but a nomination from housemate Susie sent her over the edge. I'm feeling very venomous and angry. How dare she vote for me? She doesn't even know me. She doesn't even know who I am. Can you let me out? I'm too angry to talk. I want to smash someone's head in. Who is she? Who is she? Where did you find her? Did anybody ever find out who is she? Make sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos just like this one. And if you don't, well, you'll regret the rest of your life.